Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another Pandora Cruise video. So recently, mom and I spent 21 days on the Carnival Pride cruising around Europe. It was not 21 continuous, well, it was continuous for us, but it was two cruises, a back-to-back. -back. So the first one was 12 days around the Baltic Sea. The second one was all the way down through the Bay of Biscay and into the Mediterranean Sea. So today we are going to go over all of the ports that we hit on a first cruise, 12 days throughout the Baltic Sea, and where the Pandora stores were from the ports, what charms they had, what charms I ended up picking up, if they have any country exclusives, and all of that fun information. If you are looking for the second cruise we went on, all the way down from the Bay of Biscay through the Mediterranean, I will link that down below. I did the same thing for that part of the tour, part of the cruise as I did for this one. But this video is just the first portion of the trip. That way, if you're going on one cruise or the other, you can look at those ports individually. But for today, I will put the map up on the screen bigger. We went from Dover, England, all the way down to Germany, then up to Tallinn, Estonia, through that little tiny channel to Helsinki, Finland, over to Stockholm, Sweden, which, spoiler, we didn't actually get to Stockholm. The weather was awful and we weren't able to port. So if you're here for that port, I cannot help you. Then we went down to Kiel, Germany, and finally up to Gothenburg, Sweden. So I really hope that this helps you to figure out exactly where you can find a Pandora store if you are porting in any of these countries. It can be a little hard on a ship in the middle of the ocean, and definitely a little bit of research is necessary since you don't always have data on your phone to just GPS where the nearest Pandora store is. So we're going to go ahead and get started showing you all of the places that we went. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, the ship ported out of Dover, but we flew into London and there are plenty of Pandora stores in London. As you can see from the map, we went to the location that's at the King's Cross station, which was in central London, downtown, close to our hotel. From there, you can see it's a large train station. There's lots of hustle and bustle. It is a working train station. Like people are using this for transport, although there are lots of shops inside. Now, unfortunately, I was way too distracted by the Harry Potter Platform 9 and 3 quarter store to remember to snap a photo of the Pandora store or a video for y'all. But I did grab a few pictures online so you can see what it looks like. It is an actual Pandora store and they have quite a few country exclusives. They have the double decker bus. They have the palace guard, big bin, the British flag, which is a little heart charm, and even the button charm, which is Buckingham Palace, which I want to get when I go back. But you can see that I picked up Big Ben. It is a beautiful charm. I love it. They all have the little heart details for the travel exclusives. And it's just, it's a nice skinny charm, which is different from a lot of the travel exclusives. I really enjoy that. From there, our next stop was Copenhagen, and they do have a Pandora store right downtown. It is about 17, 18 minutes from the shipboard if you were just to take an Uber, but we actually just uh, Ubered over from Trivoli Gardens where we were having our tour. So you can see it is an actual Pandora store. It is on the corner and it is kind of not right on the main road. Our Uber driver had to drop us off a couple blocks away and we walked in because a lot of these little cobblestone streets are quite small. But once you get there, they have the beautiful display right now with the Copenhagen um, charms right front and center. They do have the heart exclusives for Copenhagen that say Copenhagen that have the city skyline on them but mom and I decided to go a different direction and we picked up the Disney Little Mermaid charm for of course Copenhagen's Little Mermaid which is their one of their main attractions so you can see the charm here she is beautiful and pearls are my birthstone so if there's a pearl option I am always going to pick that but despite this being a Disney charm it is quite quite recognizable as a Copenhagen symbol as well. So I, I really like this one.
Next stop was Germany. And although you come into a quite industrial port, you can see from the map, there are quite a few Pandoras in Germany. A lot of people actually um, drove all the way in, well, drove, they took the train all the way into Berlin, where of course there are quite a few German exclusive charms there. But we went into Schwerin to see the castle. So in Schwerin, the Pandora store is in a large mall, which you can see here. And from there, the Pandora store is just right in the main entrance and down on the left. Found it. Okay. All right, let's go see what they've got. I thought I'd include that little clip because mom just like, I literally tell her we're filming and two seconds later, she's completely forgotten. But once you are in the store, they do have a few German exclusives. So you can get the heart that says Germany. You can get the um, Berlin Gate. You can get a few other pieces that they showed us, like the bike and the windmill and the pretzel that are not necessarily exclusives, but they are recognizable as German charms if those are things that you do in Germany. Mom and I actually got castles here um, for Schwerin Castle, which she got the Regal Castle. I got a fairy tale castle. I had to order mine online and so did she. But either way, we found the Pandora store. I ended up buying a heart charm here, which I'll show you later in the video because mom did not get a heart charm and she bought one at our second German port. Nothing like going to two different uh, cities in Germany to buy the same charm. Either way, our next stop was Estonia, which mom was very excited to go to Estonia. And they do have a Pandora store, again, in a large shopping mall, which you can see here. It is the, I'm going to butcher this, Veru Kiskis? Kiskis? Kiskis. I'm sorry. I Estonia was beautiful, but I cannot pronounce the names of things here. It is a large mall, and the Pandora store is on the first level kind of in one of the doors. They have doors on all four sides, so it's a little hard to tell. But here is the map. And they did not have, despite finding the store, they did not have any exclusive Estonian charms at all. So mom and I ended up getting this rose gold suitcase plane and globe dangle because we just loved Estonia. And I threw mine on my O pendant. Mom put hers on her bracelet. And I I really liked it. It's it's not exclusive, but I figured I'd include it since I did buy it in Estonia. Helsinki, Finland, on the other hand, was another very disappointing place for Pandora. So we went all the way over to the Mall of Tripla, which is where they are supposed to have Pandora. And it is supposed to be in a store called Tellander. We walked all around all around, literally looped this place. It is a huge mall um, several times and we could not find it. I, Going back now and looking at the photos, I'm fairly sure we walked past this store several times. It was not until later in the trip in Sweden that we realized this was not a Pandora store, but a booth and a jewelry store. So you can see from this photo online, the Tillander store, the Pandora booth is straight back in the back corner. And it does not have a Pandora sign of any kind on the doors or the glass like you would see in the US. It is just a counter in this store. So if you are in Finland looking for this um, booth, that is exactly where it is. Unfortunately, on a lot of our travels, we found that the booths didn't always have the country exclusives. So even if you go to this shop, I cannot guarantee they will have an exclusive for Finland. We decided just to grab this little rose gold reindeer instead. He's not an exclusive, but he is quite Finnish. So we were happy. Speaking of happy, back into Germany for the Kiel port. And this is where we got that second German heart for mom. And I will show you them all. All right, y'all, so we just came in the mall and I will put a picture of a map if I can find one. But when you come in, it is the city. You can see the sign down there, C-I-T-T-I. -I. All the way down on the right, towards the toy store, is the Pandora store. 
and of course, depending on where you are in Europe, not everyone speaks great English. Luckily, Pandora Charms are a universal language all their own. <laughs> so you can do pretty, pretty okay. But I find that if you're having trouble communicating, you know, pull up a picture of the charm you're looking for on your app, on your phone, or a lot. These European stores still have catalogs. So, almost there. And here we are, right before the balloons. Pandora. lady who helped us. They have several travel charms, including the little heart with the Germany um, map and it says Germany on it. Same one that I got in. Ooh, where was the first Germany stop? I don't even remember where I went first in Germany. Now mom had to come get one for herself. So there we go. On to the next stop, finding a Pandora store in Sweden. So before we go to Sweden, here is a close up of my little Germany heart. Like I said, it has the outline of the country as well as the heart and the Germany um, writing on it. It's really pretty. I did find that while I wore mine every day of the cruise, it kind of got this hazy look to it, whereas mom's heart did not and is still crystal clear and shiny. And I have cleaned the tarnish off this almost every day trying to get that haze to go away. So I'm not sure what that's about. If you have any ideas, like leave me a comment down below because it's kind of bothering me. But, you know, it's still a German exclusive. I'm going to love it either way. So Next up, the one, the only Sweden. So we finally found the store here. It is in another mall and we had a whole situation here. Let me, let me tell you about it. This Pandora is across from Victoria's Secret and by Burger King. All right, so we found Pandora. It's at the Hall for Guild store in the mall right off the city center. And they have a little Pandora counter. The girl here, Miss Kiki, said they haven't had the little Sweden charms in quite a while. She said it's been really hard to get them from Pandora. So we are going to pay for two and they are going to mail them to us. And we will keep you updated on how that goes. But she's been very helpful, so worth a, worth a shot. So as you can see, since we've been home, Miss Kiki has been emailing us with updates about our charms and they are finally in and on their way to us. So as soon as they get here, I will do a review just of those charms and that experience because she was so sweet to help us. I don't believe they can take payments over the phone or online. That's why we had to pay for the charms in the store. But this was a great solution to a Frustrating problem. It's not like we could go back to Sweden to pick these charms up later. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you may want to hop over to check out my travel bracelet or my mom's travel bracelet. So each of us got a lot of these exclusive charms on our trip and then we have styled them a little differently. So both on heart clasp uh, closure bracelets, but mine is more rose gold and silver with a little bit of blush and mom's has blues and silvers and rose golds and golds. I do a full look at each bracelet and you can go check that out if you want to see how we ended up styling all of our charms. Either way, I hope you loved this video and I hope it helps you on your next cruise. Bye.